If you live in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, anywhere else that isn't the US and you wanna claim your name, this video is for you. So I have not talked about this because I do not have any verified guarantee or proof that this for sure is how it works. But my mentor, who has been doing this stuff for a very long time, shared this post, okay? So I'm gonna share it with you guys and I'm gonna leave it up to you, okay? Now, before I read it, I will tell you, in the Claim the Name course, we have some people who live in Europe, who live in Canada, who are figuring out how to do this, okay? So the process that he's talking about here, yes, it is international, okay, is what he says. Okay, I'm not saying that, he said that. Okay, because I, I can't help you with that. <laughs> but I know that if you follow that process, this is what he's talking about, okay? So let's read it together. He says, the ANC is international. The assumed name certificate is international. How so? All countries that are on the central banking system are registered corporations within the United States. When I say within, I don't mean geographically, I mean jurisdictionally, okay? So the company of the United States. This includes Australia and Canada and all other countries with a central bank. Your first sign of this is simple. What is the world reserve currency? The US Federal Reserve note. So someone in Australia can register their legal name in the state of Minnesota. After that, they can get it an apostle upon the document by the Secretary of State for the federal government and file it into any court case or use it with any debt collector in Australia, New Zealand, and so forth. So I'm sharing that. I, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave it up for y'all. I was not going to post anything about this because, again, I have no verified proof of or guarantee that this is true. But I trust this man wholeheartedly. I don't think he would lie. So there you go. I hope that helps.